Hey you guys, Cassandra72 here and I am coming to you with um, my Harris Teeter Super Doubles Haul from Day 5. Um, and you guys, I am seriously losing steam. Um, yeah, <laughs> only going out once a day instead of twice. But um, then again, maybe not because normally by this point, I've taken a break on Sunday. Yeah, so it looks like I am going to end up shopping every day. Though, like I said, it's a lot of the same things. You, um, It's a couple different things here. Um, but, yeah, it's getting to the point where either the product isn't there or I feel like I've gotten enough of the product that I have at this point. So, this um, today's haul consists of my Vidal Sassoon, which... Um, I'd already gotten two on this card yesterday, so they were on sale, I think, yesterday for $2.97. Um, today, they're just $3.99, which still, you know, as I said, works out to be um, free because I did have a Peely that I had gotten, um, and I, I'm seeing these all over the place, Target, Walmart, um, they're $2 Peelys on Vidal Sassoon products, and so that $2 is going to double up to the $3.99, making that free. Um, I picked up the Gillette um, Fusion Shave Gel in hopes of helping, helping to offset the Eggo Waffles that I bought, but fully prepared that it may not come off um, because it did have, that's $3.99 and we have a $2 coupon for the P&G that's going to double up to the $3.99 making that free, but then there's a $2 Evic. And I'm thinking that maybe the Evic didn't come off this time. I thought I purchased this same thing last time, but maybe not, because this is supposed to be the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Shave Prep, and this does just say Gillette Fusion. It does not say Pro Glide. All right. So anyway, um, uh, the Dr Pepper 20 ounce is every day one sixty nine. Had a dollar tear pair that I had gotten from Family Dollar a while back. Those coupons actually expire on the thirty first. So. Um, they double up to a, uh, um, the 169 making those free. Macaroni and cheese, we all know about that. Um, they're a dollar each. Two dollar off one coupon makes two free. So you can actually get a total of six for your three coupons. The Kikkoman soy sauce, they are a dollar 49 every day. There's a dollar printable that you could get. Um, making those um, free. They'll double up to the 149 The Three Musketeers on sale, 119 buy one, get one free. So it makes each one of them like 59 cents. And then um, 75 cent coupon off of two will effectively double up to the 119 supposedly making that free. The Eggo Waffles are on sale, two for four, certain varieties. Not all of them are marked in my store, so... Um, two for four, making them two dollars each, and then we have a dollar off two, doubling to two dollars, so it makes each one of them a dollar each, which is not bad. Um, the Dawn on sale ten for ten again. I had fifty cent coupons that doubled up to the dollar, making those free. Um, but that coupon did come from a Blinky that I had been holding on to for a while for such a good deal. And then the Febreze Air Effects we have. They're $2.99. We have a $1 coupon in the PNG that will take um, that down to $0.99. Cents, and then we have a $1 EVIC. All right, so here is what my receipt looks like. Okay, so we have the Kraft Mac and Cheese. As I stated, six of those are $6 for a dollar each. Madon Dish Detergent, three at $3 a dollar each. Okay, and so on and so forth. Alright, so, then my Zaver came off for the Febreze, but it did not come off for the Gillette Fusion, okay? So, um, all my coupons scanned fine, except when it got down to the one for the Kikaman, who did not um, double, that it only scanned. So, they had to manually put that in for $0.49. Cents. And so, my subtotal was $1.99. My tax was $1.21. And so I paid $3.20 out of pocket, saving $50.07. So, um, like I said, I don't feel like that was too bad of a deal. Could have been better um, if the Zaver had come off for the Gillette Fusion. But like I said, 
let me clear this up for you a little bit. Like I said, I do feel like I had the wrong product. Um, so I, I'm not sure, but that was basically the only thing they had. And the only one, just other one, just said, like, I think Pro Series. Um, I, I do see it, you guys, because I have it right here, I believe, and didn't realize it. Um, this is what it should look like. So, pulling from a stockpile. So, it says Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. So, that's what I need to be looking for. So, anyway, um, that's why I didn't come off. But So, I didn't even press the issue. I said maybe later in the week they'll have some more. And I was fully prepared to pay the $2 for the Eggo Waffles anyway. Um, this Zebra thing still surprises me. Last night on this card, um, for the vent clip. They had to adjust my coupon down when the Zaver came off to $1.99. This time, you see the Zaver. The Zaver came off. Sorry, trying to focus. Zaver came off at a dollar, and actually, the coupon that I had for two dollars. You see my scan coupons at two dollars, and you see. Hmm. Maybe that was the difference. Maybe my coupon only doubled up to the. $1.99 this time so maybe that was the issue because what I was going to point out was that you know it was confusing how yesterday it actually didn't want to double at all it didn't want to take the coupon because of the Zaver and this time it did so it seems like this system just changes daily but anyway no issues whatsoever except when it came down to my Kikkoman that did not double and then the manager that came over um, tried to tell me that there was nothing that he could do if it didn't double. So, um, I very calmly said, you know, that's not really true because sometimes things don't double and managers will come over and fix them all the time. I mean, they know what they can do. So, he says, you know, he kind of gets a little huffy about it. And told the young lady who was casually me out something to the effect of she needed to back up off him or whatever. And so she was just like, "Excuse me," and she just backed up. Like maybe he, she didn't, he didn't need her to be standing over him. Or I mean, she's just standing there waiting for him to, you know, assist me. So in the end, so he he in the end he prints off the temporary receipt. Um, sees what my product is and then says, oh, well, they're not going to double. It's only going to go to the 149. Okay. Say whatever you want to say. I still use the terminology double because what I'm saying is it's going to double to the amount of the product. It should just scan at, at face value. I don't know why some do it and some don't. Um, because for instance, my 75 cent coupons that I had for the, um, three musketeers, two 75 cent coupons down here one completely double the only the other one went to 13 cents because that was the that that was how much i had left to make the three musketeers free so in essence it's still multiplying whatever you calling it so maybe that's the term i'll use multiply if that's going to make an ish a difference so you know all of a sudden it's oh well I, it doesn't really double but it can go to the 49 cent that's what i'm talking about to me i said oh that's fine I mean, I understand that it's not going to be the full two dollars, but it should take up to the one. It should take up to the forty nine cents. And then when he, you know, he did that and left, and I asked the young lady, you know, like, you know, what was his issue, you know, because I do know her, um, so and she gives me no issue. She was like, well, you know, he's just a little bit stressed because of all the coupons. Very apologetic for him, and I was like, oh, well, I could understand that. I mean, but don't tell me. But there is nothing that you can do when I know full well that it is. I mean, it was just a very simple customer service issue. And all you had to do was come over there like you did, turn your key and give me the 49 cents per bottle. That was it. Not attempt to tell me what you couldn't do when I know that's not true. Don't sit here and lie to me. You know? So, like I said, I was very calm about it, and everything was fine. And, you know, like I said, she apologized for him, which wasn't necessary. I mean, I didn't really take offense to it because what I was telling him was that, you know, I know that that's not true. I know that you can put in for the 49 cents. But, you know, hey, if you don't want to, if you can't do that, if you're telling me you can't, then that's fine. 
I'll just take the coupons back and you can take the product off. You know, but when I told him he could take the product off, that's when he pulled the temporary receipt and then fixed my issue. So, I mean, you just have to very politely stand your ground sometimes. Sometimes you'll win, sometimes you won't. You know, and it is what it is. But, yeah, that's it, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate to leave them below. And as always, until the next video, peace and blessings.